Hello and welcome to DS Color. I'm here to take you through a quick tutorial on how to color manage your images. Now, color management is probably the biggest thing we we do here at uh, DS Color Labs. We need to make sure you get your prints exactly how you want them. Now, we have a few uh, methods in place that can help this happen, but we need basically we need it's from both ends because chemical printing will uh, print denser and slightly darker than say an inkjet printer so to get to make sure you get your images exactly the way you want them uh, we've, we're making this video just so you can see exactly how we need your images um, and how we can uh, get them to match your screen exactly uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get one of these which is a data color spider pro which is a monitor calibration uh, piece of software small bit of kit that goes onto your uh, computer and that will calibrate your monitor so you get a, a pretty good uh, representation on screen of what it should come out uh, as a print so you've got a calibrated monitor that's the first step and one of the most important so make sure your screen is calibrated so you can get a good print then on our website if you go to the page that says paper profiles it comes up with this now these are the three paper profiles we have glossy luster and pearl uh, glossy is like the shiny finish, luster is the matte finish, and pearl is like a hypergloss, it's a metallic gloss. Now these three um, are the three separate profiles, um, so it depends which ones you're printing on. Uh, if you want to print on glossy, obviously download and install that. But for the moment, uh, I want to use luster, so I'm going to download that. And all you need to do is click on it, that's it. It'll ask you to save the file, and it'll be done before you can blink and that's it, it's downloaded. From there just drag it out of the download thing there and onto your desktop. Close that down and once all you've done there is literally click on it to download it and it'll download it. Get it onto your desktop, right click and install profile. That's it. That's all you need to do and it's installed. It's as simple as that and that will save you a lot of time. If for some reason some older versions of Windows don't allow you to right click on it. If that's the case go to your computer and your C or D drive depending which one you have and then go into Windows and then inside there there will be a folder called System32 then in there there will be a folder called Spool and then in there there will be a folder called Drivers and then there will be a folder in there called either Color or Profiles so it's Windows, System32, Spool, Drivers and then Color or Profiles then all you need to do drag it in there. That's it. It's as simple as that. So if it's Windows System 32, spool, drivers, color, then drag and drop it. Or just right click on it. It's just, uh, and it's that quick. On a Mac it is slightly different. Um, it will be roughly the same sort of way to do it. You drag it onto your desktop like you did a minute ago. So just download it first, get it onto your desktop. Then go to your hard drive on your Mac and then on your hard drive go to color sync and then there's a folder in there called profiles drag and drop it in there um, if you do all that correctly it'll just go straight into your folder you don't need to do anything else you can't double click on it to open it if you have a different profile it it won't let you open it it's because uh, they're sort of information rather than sort of a, a program once that's done you've got it installed everything's fine open your editing package and then get an image open I'm using uh, Photoshop CS5 for the moment. Now this is an image I've already edited. I know it's exactly the right size. It's cropped to 300 dpi. The It's 10 by 8. I know exactly everything's right. The color's done exactly the way I want it. But I want to make sure when it comes to us here at DS, it's going to come back to me exactly right. And to do that, I go to Edit and then Convert to Profile. It's always Convert, never Assign. Assign won't attribute the profile to anything. It just sort of keeps it alongside it. So if you click on convert and then it will come up with convert to profile have the current source base which is sRGB and then you just click on R1 here there will be a long list but look for ours it will be like it will normally have our name in it DS Color Labs or whatever. Click on that don't worry about anything else on here don't click on anything else nothing. That will do everything. Click on OK and that's it done and that will solve 
density problems and color issues and all sorts because it's bringing it in line with our printers and just by having a calibrated monitor and applying that profile you'll you will almost always get a consistent and accurate print uh, from us when you send it through using those very very simple steps if you want to do a soft proofing method which some people do go to view proof setup and go to custom so that's view proof setup and custom and then find our profile don't click on it, anything else just leave that as it is and then you can see a preview and that's not really changing at all because I know I've applied the profile and everything else I've done the color management exactly the way it needs to be done and it's going to be exactly right so that's all absolutely perfect I know that print on screen is going to be what I get as a print uh, back from us if you just follow those simple steps there really won't be any problems you won't get any lifeless dull flat or any images like that you'll just get a really nice accurate print from the image you've got on screen um, if you do have any other more qu any other queries give us a ring we're always on the other end of the line we're happy to help but this will solve most problems that people get when they when they have a, a, a color management issue it's literally all you need to do is download that profile make sure it's installed and then run it through here if you're using something like aperture or um, a, a, one of the a, Adobe batch managers like um, uh, Lightroom uh, for instance the Adobe Lightroom and Aperture they do images in batch and you can export those through the color profile so you just go to file and then export obviously it's a slightly different interface but if you export them through our color profile that will do exactly the same thing make sure it's the last thing you do in the chain um, so you've done all your editing then do the then apply the or convert it to the profile and then as I say you'll get an exactly accurate print uh, just follow those simple instructions and you'll get you'll be more than happy with the prints we can produce for you any queries give us a call but for the moment that should be it